Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Chairpoint Wizard. If you like my channel, subscribe. In this episode, I'll show you a new feature which is called, um, let's see, it's called Configured Approval. So the idea is actually that you can uh, <coughs> add an item in a list and you can request that it will be approved and assign the person that will be the approver. So, uh, as you saw, this is a list that was already created. We have a, a title and we have some kind of a automatic column that was created, approval status. Uh, so let's see how we do it. So what we'll do is go to the three dots in the top ribbon and go to automation and choose configure approval. Uh, here you can see if you can activate or deactivate the approval, but let's create a new one just so you can understand from the beginning. So I'll go to the home page, click new, click list. We can choose from a template or we can uh, create a blank list. Let's create a blank list. Let's call this demo. And uh, now actually we will uh, get a blank list. We can add a column of status choice column uh, let's call this status and uh, we'll leave the values as they are so in order to activate it we need to go to the top ribbon look for automation choose configuration approval we'll need to enable the approval and it says that this will actually add a new column and then you will be able to have a form to say what is the name of the approval, what is the reason, who is approval, and if you deactivate it, it will still be uh, active. So we will enable and click the apply button. If you noticed, there should be a new column of approval status. So let's see how it works. Let's create a new item. Let's call this topic one and status is this and G we will see that the, automatically a value of not submitted has been created. So if we click on this, we can change the name of the topic. We can say who will be the approval. We can put multiple people. If I put multiple people, uh, let's say Alex or Dan, you will see Actually, you will see that it's possible to require or not require all approvers. We will put a detail, please sign, and we can submit it. Once we submit it, we'll see that there's a process of approving request cre being created. So we will wait and then the status should be changed. Now, <clears throat> what will happen is that also um, in Microsoft Teams, there will be an approval uh, alert that will actually be, be created. You see this has been changed, approval, and you see if we go to the Teams, and if we don't have this approval app, we can add it through the three dots. And uh, you will see actually that also we got an alert, AMI sent topic one to for approval. We can see the attachment, we can see the link to the item. It says it was created, requested on this date and it's waiting for me. So what I can do here from the Teams is I can approve, reject, and there's more possibilities. If I cancel the request, it will not delete the item, but uh, the user will need uh, from the beginning to send a request. Follow up is just a follow up. Reassign will actually uh, give the possibility to assign it to somebody else. So um, I will say OK and I will approve. Now the same thing can be done also from the list itself. You see the status has been changed. Let's go here. It should be updated on also in the list. It might take some time, but uh, that's the idea. Let's create a new uh, topic. And actually, uh, this time I will show you that it's possible 
uh, to approve directly from the list. So I put the approver, which is Ami, and uh, put some text, and it will create approval request. And you see it created also in the approval app in in Teams. I can come here if I know I'm the approval and I could uh, do the following approve, reject or cancel request. So let's re reject it and let's see that the status has been changed to reject you see. Let's add another one. This time we will uh, um, just cancel it. So I'll put me is approval, submit it. And you will see if I cancel the request, what will happen, it will change back to not submitted and then I can re-send uh, it and assign it. Um, so topic one actually should have been updated from, uh, from the teams. If we look at the topic one is approved. For some reason, it might take time, or it's uh, this is what is happening. Topic one, um, but this is uh, more or less so you see it's approved. Now, uh, notice that you can save as PDF, and in this case, it will actually open the file. Um, not sure exactly why it doesn't open, but let's. Open it now and you see that you have the whole process and uh, and then you can uh, save it. It downloads it um, currently to, to the place, to the downloads. So let's just go back and see. Uh, topic one is not updated, but it might, it's only a matter of a refresh. So uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, if you like it, uh, test it. By the way, if you don't see, if you haven't seen, here is a new form experience from Microsoft List, where you can actually uh, uh, share it with the whole organization, and it looks uh, much nicer. Uh, after the user submits it, uh, he will not be referred back to his um, to the list, only the site owner. So this is a new experience. Uh, try it out and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.